When some people think about retirement, they might hope to relax and others may want to travel the world. But after a long and fulfilling career, a local U.S. Marine Corps retiree says the work isn't done and his mission isn't over yet. I'm Michelle Lorenzo and for this week's Veterans in Focus, I'll introduce you to Travis Patterson and show you how he's using his military skills to uplift a nonprofit and help it save lives in the coastal bend. It was very fortunate to be one of those kids that knew exactly what he wanted to do and I wanted to be a pilot. My father was in the Marine Corps uh, as a F-4 Phantom backseater. My grandfather flew bombers in World War II, so I just kind of grown up around it my entire life. Following a proud family tradition, Travis Patterson aimed for the sky when he was 17 years old. Patterson enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in 1994. I graduated, I went on active duty as a second lieutenant, went to flight school, uh, flew Cobras, AH-1s for about 15 years. From there, Patterson went to Washington, D.C. and flew Marine One, the aircraft, typically a helicopter, used to carry the President of the United States. His last duty station was at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. There, he taught students how to fly. With a total of 29 years in service, Patterson said he overcame challenges. I mean, it's not an easy lifestyle. Um, you know, my wife will say of the 15 years we lived in California, I was gone for half the time. So, you know, we're, she still considers us newlyweds to a certain degree because I, we've been separated quite a bit. But Patterson said the military also allowed him to develop close friendships and make memories he'll never forget. You know, the, the kind of opportunity to see the world in a helicopter was pretty amazing. So I think I counted them up at one point in 27 or 28 different countries that I got to fly in. Patterson's retirement in May was short lived. Two weeks after he finished his time in the military, he started a new mission. He's now leading efforts to save lives with the nonprofit Halo Flight. Our primary mission is to provide emergency and non-emergency patient transport for everybody that lives in our area, that entire 26 county South Texas area. Responders in Halo Flight's helicopter fleet stands ready for emergencies 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. Patterson says their services are frequently in need. The choppers take off an average of three times a day to help people in crisis. Every time we take off, it could possibly be the worst day of someone's life. But our chief medical officer made a good point to me a few weeks ago. He's like, well, it's the worst day of somebody's life, but at least we're there for them. As the nonprofit's new CEO, the Marine Corps veteran says he's thankful for the opportunity to continue serving among others with a similar passion. Of our 51 employees, every branch of the military is represented in some way. If you were to add up the total cumulative years of service of the employees at Halo Flight, it's over 190. It's not an easy job to do. You know, they work for the company because they want to provide that public service to their community. Halo Flight has been providing its service for 37 years. Patterson hopes to elevate its efforts with his military skills and his love for flight. Kind of guarantee that I will, I will make is that we will provide the best flown, the best maintained, and the best crewed and equipped aircraft in the industry. Now, Patterson is emphasizing Halo Flight is a nonprofit organization which provides its emergency services cost free. As a nonprofit, it does need some support to keep them in the air. So, if you're interested in learning how you can help, you can visit our website. For this week's Veterans in Focus, I'm Michelle Lorenzo, Chris 6 News.